we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're dirty. Made it out to the job site, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the house. Shoo, she's looking good. She's glowing in the sun. Look at the view. Like Demolition Ranch. Look at the view. Early in the morning. I got out here at 8 a.m. We've got the mini for another project you'll see later. I got out here at 8 a.m. and these guys are already getting after it. So we're cutting a hole in my foundation. I'll, I'll talk before we get in there because it's going to be loud. My foundation reported, we talked about this, you guys commented, you said yes, make a hidden gun room. I'm not talking about under the garage, that huge, that's what I'm talking about. Under the front step, Brad was like, so we've got two options. We can either fill it in with dirt or we can cut a hole in it, put a roof on it, make a hidden, basically concrete bunker, turn it into whatever you want, maybe gun room, maybe a little storm shelter. Even though my whole basement down there is a storm shelter, this would be a hidden one. Like we're talking, you grab the book off the bookcase and it opens into a room that you didn't even know existed. The guys, they're out here already today, already getting after it, so hopefully they haven't gone too much, but I'll show you what we're talking about here. They're like literally in my foundation wall, they're just cutting a hole in it. What that does structurally, I don't know, but that's why I've got Brad the Builder. Brad the Builder will be out here in a bit, and if you guys are new here, he's my house builder. He also has a YouTube channel, and he's been filming a bunch of behind the scenes stuff with my house, more in depth and more in detail than what even I do. So if you're interested in the home build, you like what you're seeing, you wanna learn more, his channel will be links down in the description down below but let's go see what the boys are up to Jeez, this is what we're talking about right here boys are already hard at work we got the saws ready so this is getting cut out and this is gonna be a walk-in hidden gun room now you excited about that it's gonna be it's gonna be good I feel like I'm, I'm in the way here I'll step back just a little way so they're cutting that hole they already got started out here today. these guys work freaking quick but literally in my foundation, cutting it. So we'll come down the stairs, pull the book off the bookcase, the whole thing revolves, boom, the hidden pew room. Cause this is, this is the big bunker, as you guys know. I'll show you guys that if you're new, but right now they're getting to, they're getting cut, so we'll let them get back to work, so. Good luck, I'll show you guys this room. If you case you're new, oh, there's some mud. This is, remember I said I brought the mini? This excavation, it got over excavated. We have to, sorry about the, oh God, the audio's gonna be brutal. We have to come in here. Now, I don't think we need the excavator through the door, but I'm gonna bring my skid loader as well. That won't happen today. That'll be a future video, but we're gonna fill in the excavation. And in front of the gun room, I'll show you, I'll go up there early, in a little bit. We have to dig out in front of it to waterproof it. I know the audio's probably great, but if you guys are new here, this is the underground bunker. We're gonna do something cool. It won't be a gun room, because we'll put a gun room over there. I know the audio sucks, I'll take you guys outside so you can actually hear what's going on, but the boys are gonna get to cutting. I don't wanna hold them up at all. We also have to trench plumbing. This green stuff, that's to trench the plumbing. So that's why I brought the mini. The problem is, I don't think I can get the mini through this door. So, Brad said, well they can rent, they can run an excavator, I'm like, well I have one. So, I brought it, we'll see. No, there's no way it's gonna fit through that door. Oh, there's Brad. Yeah, Brad. What's up? We're checking to see if I've got a bunch of lumber if we can turn the semi around down here, but I'm not. Oh, I, you want me to get out of your way? You just yell at me. You tell me what you need. Yeah, I'll probably have to get out of the way. I got that rig there, so I'll have to unload the uh, the mini. Get it out of the way. So we're going to probably bring the skid loader to do a lot of the dirt work. The mini is to dig out in front of the foundation. I'll show you that in a bit, and that'll be probably another video down the road. But today's video, we're focusing on the hidden gun room. It's gonna be sick. I'm pretty excited. It looks kind of small from the outside, but it's really not that bad once we go in. So I haven't been in it. And the other thing is the boys have been decking the uh, the, the top of it. They put a deck on it. So I'll have to go check that out, but I feel like I need to get out of the way. I'm just trying to figure out where I can even go. So I guess I better get this mini off the trailer. Brad's here, and uh, so we got, that's sitting over there. I'm just gonna actually back this thing out of the way. I don't think the semi actually needs to come down here, but I'll get it out of everybody's way anyways. Anyways, Brad's in there talking to Jake and the concrete guys, the saw guys. But what I'm gonna do is, I'll take you guys to the top, show you what we're planning on doing with that excavator um, for probably, maybe tomorrow, maybe another video, I don't know, we'll get up here. We gotta get the skid loader up here with the dump trailer so we can haul dirt. Beefcake Construction is gonna get to work on my house. We gotta get this sucker done at some point. We're still probably looking 
about a year out. Maybe, I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm not a house builder. Brad, Brad said he used to be good at, you know, estimations and time frames, but with COVID and the delays and whatnot, there's really no telling how long stuff takes. So I'm being not optimistic. I'm being, I don't know what the word is for it, but I'm thinking a year from now. I mean, from this stage in a year, I would assume we can get it done, but waiting on appliances and waiting on windows and garage doors, stuff like that can kind of delay it. But what I need to do, see, I can't do it today, all this work. You look at that foundation isn't, isn't black, right? It's not sprayed. So this is water sealant that's on this one. Well, that was just supposed to be under my stoop, under there, and it was supposed to be just filled in with dirt. Now that's what they're cutting. They're cutting the back side of that, not this wall. There's another wall right where that opening is. They're cutting that. So under that, that square, or it's actually, it's like a Chevy logo bow tie, is gonna be technically inside my house now that it's a gun room. So if it's inside your house, you need to have the waterproofing material on it, which it's not, and see how it got backfilled already. That needs to go all the way down. So I'm gonna have to come in here sometime, take that mini. I gotta dig all that dirt out in front of it. We're gonna respray it and then pack it in. I said the reason why it didn't get sprayed in the first place, we weren't planning on making the gun room. It was just supposed to be a no, a no room, not part of the house. It was supposed to be filled in with dirt. And Brad and I together seem to come up with great ideas, but uh, you know, they're always changes. So Brad always, what I'm learning here, Brad told me every action has a reaction. So you say, all right, we're putting in a gun room. Well, that means you gotta re-excavate it. Good news, I got an excavator, so it's not a big deal. Like that, all this gotta be filled up to that black line. I'm letting Shad do that, because I don't want my foundation falling apart. But as far as just digging out a little bit of a hole, I don't think it'd be too bad. So now, look at that. So this is, I guess I'm, I'm sure I can probably walk on it. I probably should ask somebody if it's good for me to walk on. They, those guys, are, they're putting actually up the roof, the roof of it now, putting the stringers, or kind of like the trusses, but it's not a truss. I, I'm not a construction guy, but I'm guessing I can walk on this. I should probably ask them beforehand. I mean, I, I, right? You would be able, you should be able to walk on that. Right? I mean, what, what, what would they still have to do that would allow it to not walk? Is this good to walk on? Oh, okay. It <laughs> falls right through, could you imagine? So the guys are cutting basically right here, right now. So this is the gun room, but we're above it right now. This is the ceiling of the gun room. So it doesn't look that big on camera. Well, maybe it does, but this room, I mean, that's pretty big. That's, those are sheets of plywood. So those are probably, those are not four feet wide, are they? This can't be four feet wide. Is that four feet? I think that's four feet. That's probably six, 12, 18, 24. Oh God, 30, 36, holy crap, uh, 42, 48. So that would be four feet. I was gonna, it should be an eight by four. You got four, you got eight, you got 12. That's 12 feet. That's like a bedroom. It seems small from here. When Brad originally was like, well, do you wanna make it a gun room? I'm like, a gun room, it wasn't gonna hold a shotgun? No, so you got 12 and then that's an eight foot sheet. And those are two, no, nah, that's probably a foot. That's maybe three. So eight, three, 11. So that's probably like a 10 or 11 this way and 12 that way. Plus you have this. This is another four plus a, a one, five, five by eight by maybe three. It's another 10. So you got 10 feet this way, 10 feet this way, 10 feet that way. So that means this is 30 feet. Well, let's see, eight, 16, 24, 30, 31. Was I not right? I just said 30. So you've got the, the room itself is going to be 31 by, like I said, this is only about five feet, but this is, what did I say, 12 feet? 12 feet, and then that's five feet. So what's this? Oh God, I dropped out. Let me, oh, hang on. I'm, I'm going to do this math. I'm already committed. 220 square feet, plus or minus a little bit, because we also have to build the interior walls. So, you know, you got to come in, you got to cut like, like this would be the exterior, that'd be the interior. So you're losing that much, right? So 200 to 215 square foot of a gun room, I feel like is a pretty big room. I mean, that's that would be the equivalent of what? A 20 by 10? My gun room at my house right now is a seven by seven. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So that would be 144 square feet? No. Yeah, no, 49 square feet. So I'm going from a 49 square foot gun room that holds all my guns currently to a 200 plus square foot gun room. So we're talking 4X gun room size. I'm imagining all the guns are gonna be along this wall 
This, I'm not sure, you have to comment down below. I mean, you'll see, I'm, the reason why I'm filming right now is because they're down below there, it's really loud and you can't really understand what I'm trying to say because it doesn't really make sense. This, it's like, I kind of see this one big room and then you got two smaller, like, rooms. What what could you put there, like on the smaller side? Imagine, because the right now your, your bookcase is actually gonna be right here. So essentially, if you just imagine this on the lower floor, you're gonna open it. Oh, there you are. Here I am. I, I, I calculate, I did math. I think this is 220 square feet. I thought about 31 feet across this whole thing, all the way to the end. Look at this, doing two shifts, only got a 25 in. Only a 25 or? There's 24. Okay. Right. 24, so I need, I need the next one to be seven feet. I bet I got it. Nine. Nine, oh, I'm off, so I was off. Nine. 24, nine, 33. 33, I guess, I guess 31, so I was off by two feet. 23 by. And it's about four, five and a half. Five. 216. I think I said two, I said 220. Well, you didn't get this, did you? That little oh, lip? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because you, you only went, you only went by five. So two. add two by what was that number? 12, it was 12 foot, wasn't it? Or 11, 11 and a half? 12. 12, 12 by so two, so 24. another 24. So, yeah, I was off by like maybe... 240. 240, I said 220. Not bad for just eyeballing it. That's pretty darn close. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta come in and we'll flash this. We'll, actually, we'll put this rubber tar membrane. Stuff's nasty. We yeah. Paint it all on. Yep. And this will seal it up tight and then we pour concrete on top. Oh, there's concrete on here. Okay. Yeah. And then we're putting... This will be the, the porch deck. So is it? are we doing the planks or are we leaving it concrete? This will all be concrete. Just all concrete. All a, a concrete stoop. I like it. Indestructible. Shouldn't have to maintain or maintenance it so i mean that's pretty big my gun room right now remember you saw at my house that's a seven by seven so that's 49 square feet so we're yep. we're five axing it that's a big gun room because that fits a lot of guns you saw 50 square feet can fit a lot of guns all the ones in my room cool stuff you might do like mounts down that's there. what i'm thinking so yeah like a man like a man cave. we should make man it a man cave, cave. A man, yeah i mean that's i'm gonna have to buy more guns don't tell don't tell macy i feel like, I feel like demo don't tell mayor don't, don't tell your foundation is gonna fall down time soon because nobody really has a 16, 16, 16 inch, inch? Thick wall. is that not normal no <laughs> it's more like eight yeah okay well we're, normal. we're making a bunker so we already have a bunker there but in case we feel like that's not secure enough or hidden enough it hits the fan you come in here this is one you won't know about you'll know about that bunker but this one will be completely hidden you'll never know it exists except for the lot the, the viewers the viewers they'll know but but, but that but you guys keep us keep us secret. they won't know what door to open oh true that's what what true. book to pull exactly to let the door oh yeah no i'll serve i'll move in the i'll change the books around so even if you do come out here and try to break in you'll you won't know what book to pull okay everything else is coming along pretty good though huh yeah i've got this figured out on your fireplace oh you did yeah okay is that something you remember we talked oh about? yeah for yours yeah so we've got an engineer meeting him here in about another hour okay that really is gonna if you turn around it's gonna look like this where you got it take that whole middle center beam yep. out because your fireplace looks out yeah yeah we got to see through that see through. yeah we got it we got to do that we proposed that problem last time so it'll look okay. it'll look like that it'll give it give it one of them deal so that's good well what do you think you're happy with it it's coming along good. This looks really good. Yeah. Good. You're happy with oh, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always happy. I'm always happy. So, anyways, the boys are going to get to cutting. We're going to, once they open it up, I don't know what it's going to look like. like. Does the door just fall down and, poof, and shatter? I don't, what do you do with the door after? Does anyone need a eight by four foot concrete door chunk of slab? Maybe I put it, use it for part of a little boat ramp. I don't know. So, anyways, I'm going to go down there, see how far along. The boys are getting, we'll get this sucker cut open. And then once it's open, I'll take you guys inside and you can help me decide how to lay it out. You know, we, we now we know, we got 240 square feet. Again, once you j bring in all the walls, I'm guessing maybe two, 215, you know, you're gonna add maybe, a, not, maybe not even two by six, maybe we'll do two by four like that. And then drywall, you know, you're gonna have another quarter inch there and it'll bring it in a little, it shouldn't be too bad. So I'll take you guys inside and you guys can tell me how we should lay it out. I already know it's gonna be plenty, plenty big, uh, but Brad's point is maybe we can turn it into a man cave maybe we put the guns on the two skinny sides and that big square is like a sitting room or a hangout room or i don't know you just go in there to to vibe it's a vibe room i don't know you just have to let me know what you guys think so anyways let's go see what the boys are up to Sheesh. how's this going good you're looking all right this top piece is about out oh. We measured it, it's 240 square feet. What is? The, this gun room, pretty big. That's big. Right now the house is seven by seven, so it's 49. Dang. So we're five Xing it. It's bigger than you think. Not including once we interior the walls, you'll lose a little bit, like, you know, your yeah, studs, you just a in. little bit. So still, you're gonna be above 200. That's nice. It's still. pretty, it's, it's, it's 12 by, it's 12 by 11 is this main room. That's pretty big. It's it doesn't look that man. big. So you can just frame like one by one. Still, yeah. And then just sheetrock, like True. foam board and then sheetrock over that.
said the whole thing is gonna come down at once. So they got the whole thing cut, as you guys can see right there. It's all cut out, they have it shimmed. The shims prevent it from falling, I'm assuming, but I think they gotta go maybe go on the inside. It's gonna splash all this, it's gonna go flying. So I'm in this, I'm in the splash zone. Imagine the middle of the night, that, you just hear what's this that, What's that ball? game that you pull, is it Jenga? You pull out the little- Little blocks, yeah. He's like, like that's like the word, big Jenga. He's gonna knock out that block right Getting there, the whole thing's gonna fall. <laughs> Okay, that, one big, that one big piece right there is probably easily four or five hundred pounds. Whoa. A little bit. Just a little bit. That wasn't that bad. I just got a little... Yeah, I got... Took one right to the leg. Right, right there. Oh, Bam. That is crazy how heavy that is. Yeah, I'm sure... How are we going to get that? I guess, I mean, we can always leave it and I can help them get it with the skid loader. So, cut it all up. Uh, okay, that's, I was going to say, I don't know how we're going to get that sucker out. That's... That's Big Daddy there. He ain't gonna get me if I'm in there, I'll tell you that much. We'll be safe and sound. We won't even know someone's in here breaking in. We'll be sitting there <laughs> sipping tequila, hanging yeah, out. Andrew, here's what your door was gonna look like. See these guys crawling through there? <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna be the secret tunnel. That was the secret tunnel. I like the secret tunnel idea too. Oh, there it is. Oh. That's it. Oh, yeah, I like the ramp. I like that. It's like that's like it was meant to be. It's like Iron Man coming out of that. There's the gun room, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that was such a good opportunity. We should have done that. He comes out. Oh yeah. Did you imagine? Oh my God. Look, we even got a ramp. Wow. Oh, this is a. This is not small. We're gonna have to make it where you come in and step up. We can yeah. Probably come in, raise this whole floor. I say we can. That's I can get some way, dirt in here. That's maybe. what you can do. We'll open it up. Come here and then maybe step up and yeah. then all this on one level. Oh, dude, this is huge. Oh, this is big. This is huge. This is big. From up top, it looks, when you said gun room, I said, I need a bigger gun room than that. This is massive. This is like three of your current yeah. gun rooms. <laughs> you turn this, the light on it. This is very large. This doesn't do much good. No, it's very light. We need a big spotlight or something. Wow. So we'll have to pour the floor up this high. So you'll have like probably three or four steps up into this room. Yeah, got it. Kind of where Jake's at. So yeah, that'll be cool. It'll be neat. Open yeah. up the door. Step up well, you gotta, well, you gotta plug that leak, leak up there, Jake. Yeah, you got, the flex, you got flex seal handy, or <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, so they just put this deck on, looking good. This gonna be a sweet gun room, dude. Oh, this gonna be a sweet room. inches of concrete. I, I want one. This, this is <laughs> like, oh yeah. No. Way. Dude, you'd be in here. So we, Jake brought up a good point. We gotta, we'll have to find the. You have to control the humidity, so we got to put something in for that. Right, right, for the guns. So yeah, the guns. We can have a separate unit. We might be able to sit your furnace rooms over here. So can just pull, just plumb it through there. Plumb it through. Yeah, and yeah. Keep the, the That's not a bad idea. Yeah. That would be another. Dude, this guy's is crazy. Core drills to do some more. <laughs> Dude, this is big. This is huge. I love this. This is awesome. Big. Like you can hang a rifle. Yeah, right here. here. Across, and just have them all. And you like can probably that. hang three rifles across yeah. this like, easily. You can easily hang a hundred rifles. Yeah, like, on just these walls. Yeah, right here. and then, and then you, know, so then you got these. all the room for activities. I, I said these guys, they have to comment. What do you do with that space? That's like the. That's what I hadn't quite figured out. Like a little like little table in there, a little hangout space. On them or so I thought either. I think it'd be cool if the door opened and you see the guns. But yeah. if you ended up putting the guns on the sides, this could be like cool. I'd put like a poker table space. in here and oh. just like hang like this. Is just where we vibe, you know, it's a big vibe. Space. This is good. I, I'm, I'm excited. This is a good move. This is, again, a last set. We've, we've got some last second clutch moves. One being excavating under the garage. Two moving the garage doors to the back. Three gun room. We're th and see through fireplace. Four for four, ladies and gentlemen, from not even just me, but Brad, he helped with this idea as well. But changing my mind mid build. And we've made, so far, we've had four home runs. This is, because this isn't caught, I mean, I don't know what. That just costs right there, to be honest. But it can't be that bad. Yeah. Because uh, we were already going to do this. And actually, I mean, think about it. Square footage is going to add to your home. True. That's probably true. Square well, you got to think. Is I would have had to pay or done it myself for two days. I mean, this is a lot of dirt mm -hmm. to fill this. So I would have had to pay Chad or somebody to come fill it. I took that money, paid the gentleman to cut the door instead. And so we probably broke even on the deal. Yeah, I bet it costs as much to cut the door as it is to fit. I mean, that's a lot of volume of dirt. I mean, that's dump trucks worth of dirt and pack it in. Oh, yeah. So we probably broke even on the audible call. Now, I'm sure a revolving bookcase and a safe door is not the cheapest, but hey, if you guys own a safe door company that happens to be able to put a bookcase in front of it and I can pull a book and it opens, hit me up. My email's in the description if you want you guys have vault doors that you want put in here because that would be that'd or be cool some really sweet like gun hangings. yeah or some gun hangers yeah. if you anyone watching it works with a gun hanging company uh we're gonna, be, a lot of we're gonna need a lot, a lot of them of we're gonna need a lot of them man this is so 
sick. Mm-hmm. Way cool. Like, Way cool. I'll be honest. I was almost like, should we even do it? And then I'm like, who has a revolving bookcase? But it, like, who knows? Maybe I'll never use it. You can use this. Thing. Like, this yeah. right here. That's as big as our current gun room. Mm-hmm. And then you got all this. Yeah. See, I'm not like I love the idea. And maybe we still could hang all the guns here. Yeah. And still make this a sitting room. We could still display all the guns. Cause I just, I just love the image of like pulling the bucket, opening, and you just see freaking like pews. Yeah. Pews. That's what I want. So maybe we put the guns here, but we don't do anything here. And this is just like hangouts, hangout area. Like I'm thinking like a little poker table. Boys yeah, can come in here and chill. Right here. Yeah, right in this area. And then back here where you have your shelves and your ammunition. I mean, this is where you're going to have your thermals. You're going to have lots of pews. I got to start buying more pews. We need, we need more to fill this room. So there you have it, folks. That is the DIY. I mean, I didn't do it, but these gentlemen did. Gun room. Uh, afterthought gun room. So if you've got a giant 200 square foot front porch like me and you want to have a vault, this is probably the cheapest way you could do it because you already I already had to do this. It didn't cost me anything besides cutting this. And if we would the thing is if we would have known, we would have framed around it, but I thought of it after they poured the foundation. So it's not a big deal. So if, if, if you're going to do a porch like this, like I am, and you think about it, then it wouldn't really cost you anything because they could just, like how they leave all the openings on all the other ones, they could have left it. So there is the gun room, ladies and gentlemen. I think the boys are going to get to cutting, maybe haul it out, get rid of it. Stay tuned. The structure, ladies and gentlemen. These are perfect fish habitat. Oh, <laughs> perfect fish habitat. Well, they're oh, getting the, they're getting the old roof figured out. But yeah, like was that was that rebar there before? Yeah. yeah. Just, oh, that okay. was just, in the blocks. Hmm. Like, this makes sense now. So we got to cut that rebar. Yeah, got it. So you guys already saw the inside, but I just want to show you the blocks. Yeah, I think we're gonna take when we come back. We're gonna get the skid loader. We gotta fill all this dirt in. When we do that, we can. Oh, dude, I'm not sure you're picking those up. They said they would cut them into Buddy. pieces that we could move. No, I'm serious. Oh, no, I'm serious. I don't yeah, think you're yeah, picking like, them up. My back ain't doing it. Like, oh, God, no. What are they, how, are we getting these out how are we supposed to get them out? They just cut them into like... Oh, no. Oh, no. For real, oh. dude. My back will not put up with it. I promise you that. I will be crawling out of here. Oh, yeah, my back could no never. Way. No. Oh, yeah, the whole house. that's got to be like, wait, 100 pounds, 150 pounds, maybe 100 pounds. Yeah, probably pushing 200 pounds a block. Wait, so how in the hell are we supposed to get these out? If I, I, I had the mini, but I can't get the mini through the door. I mean, how hard is it for them to bust open that header and re put it up there again? Should we ask them? Hey, can we, can we, can we raise the header? Just cut this wall free and move it. Yeah, I could do that too. Because man, I mean, with the what we have to do is we have to bring the skid loader in here and use the mini to pick up the blocks to put it in the skid loader skid loader bucket, English or stuff, and get like five of them in there and then back the skid loader all the way out. You ain't you ain't moving them. No. I'm trying to think how could how can we use physics? What would Albert Einstein do? Is he the physics guy or no? Yeah. Who's who's sure. Mr. Physics? Is that was Albert it, Einstein? Was it was it a big Einstein? No. Newton, 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 Newton. 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 Big Daddy Newton. Newton. That's who we need. Like if you put the bucket down. Can you just like roll them on? Yeah, with the skid. Roll them, roll them into the bucket, maybe. Yeah. That's still not going to be enjoyable. I'm just. What we need is just like a. That's a. Big, that's a lot of them, dude. That like ain't. One of your big, big decoy sleds, and just like yeah. Flip them into Fli that. Throw them in there. Just like drag them out of here. All right. I mean, we would have been better off leaving it as a wall, it just and put and strapping it and up, just and then just cr and just craned it out. Like literally, I can come over with the skillet and pick. I guess. Right there. Ah, rich. Because then we could have had another crane. Dang. All right. Well, if you guys have any brilliant ideas on how to move these blocks, you let me know. Because I don't. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to make it happen. <sighs> yeah, I got. I got no idea. Pop beefcake. He's on his way with the skid loader and the dump trailer, so maybe he's he's a big physics guy. He might have some ideas, but we gotta we gotta get him out of here somehow, cause it, we gotta get him out of here in order to fill that, cause these are in our way now. So, yeah, stay tuned. It's 
sketchy, dude. It's super sketchy. greatest drone pilot is walking right uh, you see her? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wouldn't fly and I'm not taking the blame for it uh, that drones that we'll see if that thing's still alive after that crash but uh, all the rock is down man I can see a bass sitting on that yeah, juicy little pile so this the pond we didn't give you guys an update nothing's really changed honestly pond now that we're down here you can see the house huh? let's look at the view looking right down here's the pond so this is just the dirt they had to take to add it around the house they're gonna take a bunch more but yeah really we pretty much just have to take a bunch of dirt Looks like the low side is about, it's like a little saddle. We'll have to run the dam connected to that hill and probably tie it into that hill. And ideally this whole thing will backfill. And that's where we can get creative, put rock piles, dig some holes like this. You know, like see all those berms, you could leave them just like that, stack some rock on it, get a bunch of trees. We can knock down a bunch of these cedar trees that are invasive, yeet them in the pond. So tons of future videos for you guys, but let's go ahead and get this rock unloaded. So what's the world's greatest drone pilot have to say about it? One propeller missing, huh? Yeah. That's not terrible. The other one did. I've seen worse. Fish. You good? Beautiful. Well, we gotta fix the drone. We got a, a trailer didn't look too bad. Looks like we didn't do too much damage. So there's your future bass brute bakery hatchery right there. We're, we might even leave it there, make a little shallow bay. So anyways, that's what you got. It looks like it's maybe a little too wet and muddy to uh, run dirt today. So we'll maybe come back in a couple days. Right, we'll have to just, we'll take this kid back because we always have to give the animals hay. We'll come back with this same, same setup maybe later this week because uh, it's, you can see the mud on the tires is a lot worse than I expected. So we uh, probably aren't gonna haul dirt today, but like I said, we'll bring everything back. The next episode at the house that you'll see us doing is hopefully filling in the basement and getting that all taken care of. So we are good to go. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you do with the gun room, how we should design it, what we should put in it. Give me some tips, tricks, everything you guys got in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time and peace.